Men's basketball now kind of in contention for the top of the league as we near the midpoint of the season, hosting Lipscomb and part of a Nashville weekend in Johnson City. And Isaiah Brown early on getting to the rim. That's usually a good sign. However, Lipscomb getting it done from a long way away from the rim. Jordan Bergeson forces a timeout with one of his nine three-pointers. That's still actually too shy of the dome record, but, well, that's still pretty good. Jarvis Jones wants to answer in the first half. That's a tough shot falling out of bounds with a hand in his face, and then Tommy Hubbard gives the Bucks the lead there with a the three-pointer. How about the offensive board by Lucas Paderas? Feeds Hubbard, and he puts in the reverse. Again, a little bit later, Hubbard will miss the jumper, and again, Paderas will grab the rebound, put it back up, and in this time for two of his own. Another miss from the outside there. This time it's Brown with the offensive board, and Hubbard again following the shot, finishes it off there. Tommy, no problem with this one, though, as he hits it from the baseline. Ten points in the first half. He'd finish with 13 and 10. Second half, Sheldon Cooley, time to turn on the game as he pulls up along the baseline there, and then Jarvis Jones will get back to Cooley later. First Jones, one, two, and then before we show you any more of that, Jarvis with a little defense here, steal at midcourt, and he'll go to Hubbard, who'll put it up and in in the paint. Back to Jones, he already hit two. He's gonna hit another one, gives the Bucks the lead. The fans on their feet. Jarvis Jones would finish with 18 points, pacing the Bucks in this one. Here's Sheldon Cooley, look at him toe the line on the baseline, and a nice reverse lay-in with the left hand, and then bodying up on the right side. A runner is good off the glass. Cooley finishing with 10, most of them in the second half. Rattles and goes. Cooley helping the Bucks stay up, but then they would fall back down a possession until Isaiah Brown brings him to within one with a humongous flush from the Lob by Salazzo, but Martin Smith, four made threes for him. Looks small next to Bergenson's nine, but that was huge. Got the Bisons up by four. Jarvis Jones trying to answer in desperation. Jordan Bergeson a rebound, and he would go to the free throw line already past the 30-point mark. How many more could he throw on there? Well, 33 is the final tally for Bergeson as he leads Lipscomb over ETSU. 73 to 65 here inside ETSU MSHA Center. 15 made threes for the Bison. Inside the Dome, John Stevenson.